اوكي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته صباح الخير كيف حالكم؟ بخير والحمد لله أي فصل هذا؟ فصل الأول فصل الأول من أي مدرسة؟ ألمين أكاديمي كيتسورو ألمين أكاديمي كيتسورو Welcome How do you say welcome in Arabic? مرحبا Say مرحبا 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 بكم Look at them مرحبا بكم مشاهدين الكرام في ألمين أكاديمي في برنامج أبو نجمة with the kids مع نجمة والأطفال هيك لفة الأطفال ما شاء الله How are you guys doing? You're fine. Alhamdulillah. I'm also doing well. I missed you guys from our last episode. Did you miss me? Yeah. You missed me. Yeah. How much? This much or this much or this much? This much. This much. Yes. Oh, mashallah. So, who can remind me which story did we talk about last week? Yes, Abdullahi. Nabi Ayyub alayhi salam. Now tell me what did we say about Nabi Ayyub? Yes? Nabi Ayyub was very rich. He had what? Money, money, money. He had what? Fulus. He had a lot of fulus. Yes, what else? Yes? Allah tested Prophet Ayyub alayhi Salam. Masha Allah. Yes. Hudayfa. Yes. Yahya. Yes, Yahya. He had a big house because he was wealthy, right? He had a lot of money. He was wealthy. So he had a big house. Yes, Rauva. What else? Ah, food. Nice, yummy food. Like which one, Rauva? Like which food? Rice berries, like berries. <laughs> what else? Yes, Azam. Which food? Cupcakes. Cupcakes. Nice. Yes. Cake. Cake. Mashallah. Yes. Pizza. With what on top? With what on top? Cheese. Pizza with sprinkles. Oh. Wow. I never tried that. Wow. Wow. With cheese Wait. and sprinkles. Tomato. Uh -huh. We need peanuts. Peanuts. Oh, Masha Allah. Yes, what else about Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam? Yes. He got very sick. Allah. He got very sick. Subhanallah. What happened to him that he got very sick? Uh, yes, Azam. Allah. His skin started. Peeling, what kind of sickness is that? Have you ever seen that kind of sickness? No. Is it like Corona? No. It's worse than Corona, right? Prophet Ayyub became sick. La ilaha illallah. How many of you have ever become sick? You have ever become sick? Yes. How, show me your sick face. <coughs> <coughs> you disturb boy every time. Oh, yo. My head is paining. Mommy. Yeah, it's funny. I cannot go to Duxi. Malin Duxi comes. Hey, bring Abdullahi out here. Abdullahi is where's Abdullahi? Abdullahi is not going to Duxi because he's sick. Oh, so Prophet Ayub was sick. Allah gave him a bad. Allah gave him a sickness. And how did people treat him? And uh, la 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 la. Let me see. Picky picky point. Yes, now one. Yes. And they treated him very badly. They treated him badly. They didn't they, did they come to visit him? No. They didn't come to visit him when he was sick. They didn't they didn't make dua for him. People were scared of him because of the disease that he 
hard. Now today we are going to continue with our story. What happened to Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam? Did he make dua to Allah? Was he patient? Because first Allah took away his, he lost his wealth, he lost his home, he lost his house, he lost his, his big farm, he lost everything, he lost his children, all his kids passed away, they all died. And then finally, he became sick and he had a deadly disease, a deadly type of illness. Some a disease that people ran away from him. They were scared of him. Now, what did Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam do? Did he cry on his bed and say, oh, Ya Allah, why did you do this to me? Ya Allah, please. Did he cry to Allah? Was he thankful to Allah? We want to find out today. Now, Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam, when he got this sickness, I told you people ran away from him. Because people are scared to get that illness. You remember when we had COVID, when we had Corona, what did people put on their mouth, on their face? A face mask, right? Why do you put a face mask? Yes? So Corona doesn't get on you. So that you don't get Corona from someone else, right? And then we were told to sit far away apart. You don't sit close to each other because you are going to get sick. Now, Prophet Ayub, this kind of sickness that he had, people were scared of him. They didn't want to get close to him because they say, if you go close to him, you're going to become like him. You're going to be sick like him. So everyone stayed away. And when you are sick and people stay away from you, how will you feel? You're going to be heartbroken, right? Your heart is going to break. Show me your heart breaking. Cock. Your heart is going to break. No one is coming. No one is coming to visit you. No one is coming to see you. No one is bringing for you fruits. No one is coming to see how you are. Everyone is going away from you. Yes, Abdullahi? And he was healthy. Yeah, before he was healthy, right? Yeah. He used to be healthy and strong and he used to welcome people in his home and he ate everything. Now he is sick. He is weak. He can't eat everything. He can't be with people. People have run away from him. Prophet Ayub is alone. He's feeling alone. Maybe he even cried, right? He must have cried, right? Because when you're sick and people have abandoned you and they have gone away from you, he felt bad. So he made a dua to Allah. Now he has no one. All his children have died. He doesn't even have any child to take care of him. No child is with him to take care. No child is by his side to take care of him. So today I want us to learn which is this dua that Prophet Ayyub made to Allah. So this is the dua that he said. Can you say, Rabbi? Rabbi. Inni. Inni. Masani. Masani. Wa anta arhamur rahimin. So he said, Rabbi inni masani adhurru wa anta arhamu arrahimin. Let's say it again. Rabbi inni masani adhurru wa anta arhamur rahimin. He said, Ya Allah. Look at what has befallen me. Look at the trouble that I am in. Look at the sickness that I have. Look, I don't have anyone beside me. I don't have anyone close to me. I don't have any wealth anymore. I have nothing. Look at the trouble that has befallen me. And because Ya Allah, Anta Arhamur Rahimin, you are the most merciful. Ya Allah, you are the most merciful. Look at me, look at the situation that I am in. Please help me out, Ya Allah, because Allah, you are the most merciful. Allah is the most merciful. Do you think Allah likes to see, to see you suffer? No. Do you think Allah likes to see you cry? No. When you cry, Allah is happy. Do you think that? No. No. So Prophet Ayyub, he turned to Allah. Because he knows that Allah is capable of giving him back everything that he had. 
his health back, his wealth back, his children back. And Allah is the only one who has the power to do anything. And Allah is the most merciful to him. Even the human beings, his friends, his neighbors, they ran away from him because they are not merciful to him. But Allah is the most, most, most merciful. He said, Wa anta arhamu arrahimin. Do you know that Allah is more merciful to us than our mothers? Do you know that? Yes. Do you know that? Allah is more merciful to you than your mommy. You see, your mom, your mom loves you so much, right? Yes. Our mom loves us so much, right? Yes. When you fall down, who is the first one to pick you up? Mommy. Your mom. She doesn't want to see you cry. When you cry, how you come? Say, what is it? Oh, oh water, Mr. Mr. Watermelon. Why are you crying? Shh. Sorry, don't cry, okay? Your mommy is, 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 is cuddling you. you don't, she doesn't want you to cry. Now Allah, when he sees you crying, Allah is more merciful to you than your mommy. When Allah sees you dry, a teardrop falling from your eyes, Allah, Allah does not love to see you sad. Allah wants to make you happy. So Prophet Ayyub, he prayed to Allah. He said, Rabbi inni masani dhurru wa anta arhamu Arrahimin. And guess what? Guess what? Can you guess what? Do drum rolls. Guess what? Guess what? <gasps> Allah answered his dua. Allah answered his dua. Why did Allah answer his dua? Yes? Because he doesn't want to see people cry. Because he doesn't want to see people cry. Why else? Yes, Rawda. Why did Allah answer Prophet Ayyub's dua? Oh, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh -huh. Why else did Allah answer Prophet Ayyub's dua? Because Allah has made us a promise. Allah has made us a? Promise. Do you know which promise it is? Allah has made us a promise. He said that whoever is going to ask something from me, anything you ask from Allah, Allah is going to answer you. Allah is going to answer you. Anything that you want, you ask from Allah anything that you want. Allah is going to answer you. Because Allah says in the Quran, Ud'uni astajib lakum. Allah says, when you ask, I will give you. I will respond to you. I must answer you. Allah does not fail to answer anyone. When you make dua like this, see, when you do your hands like this, do your hands like this. You ask Allah for something. Ask Allah for something. Ah, you ask Allah for something. Ah, when you ask Allah for something like this, Allah will never say no. Will never say no, Abdullahi. I will not give you this. Oh, 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 oh. Allah has made a promise. He has said, "Udoni astajib lakum." I will give you an answer. I will answer you. And so Prophet Ayyub, he knew that Allah is going to answer his dua. Allah is going to accept his dua. And do you think that Allah accepted his dua? Yes. Yes, 100%. How many people are 100% sure? 100% sure? 1,000% sure? 10,000% sure? 0% sure? 0% sure? Rauda. 0% sure. So Allah answered Prophet Ayyub's dua. And he got back his health. And he became healthy again. And he became wealthy again. And all his children, imagine, all his children, those who died, they were brought back to life. <gasps> yes! Allah is the one who causes death, right? Who causes death? Allah. Who brings people back to life? Allah. Allah. So Allah is the one who brought them back to life. And Prophet Ayub, one day he see, ah, his children are coming back to him. Ah, and they were dead. And so this is the sign that Allah has answered his dua. Allah gave him back his wealth and he got back his, his children and he got back his, his health. And so what do you think the people said? What do you think the people said? 
the bad people, the people who did, the people who said Prophet Ayub was a bad man. That's why Allah is punishing him. What do you think they said? Hmm. Okay, let's think about it. We're going to be back after the short. Break. After the short break. break. So welcome back again. So who can tell me what is the dua of Prophet Ayub that you have said? Na, 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 let me see who was listening. Da, na, 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 na. What is the dua of Prophet Ayub that he said when he was sick? Somebody, somebody, somebody. Okay, I'm going to start. Rabbi inni, dish, 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 dish. Rabbi inni, masani, aha, masani adhurru, wa anta, arhamu, wa clap for yourself. Mashallah, mashallah, jameel, jiddan. Ya salam, ya salam, ilwa. Masha'Allah. So Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam, he made this dua and Allah answered his dua. Allah answered him because Allah loves, Allah loves us and he is the most merciful to us. And when we ask something from him, he answers us. He gives us an, an answer. So what do we learn from Prophet Ayyub's story? The first thing that we learn is Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam, is someone who is grateful to Allah. He was thankful to, to Allah. He never felt bad that Allah has tested him. He didn't see that Allah does not love him. He was grateful to, to Allah. And he was also patient. Do you know patience? Yes. Patience, patience. Yes, wait. He was patient, yes. He waited even though it took so many years. He got sick and he didn't get sick for only one day. He got sick for a long period of time and he was patient and he did not get tired. He did not lose hope in the mercy of Allah. Allah says, La taqnatu min rahmati la. La taqnatu min rahmati la. Don't lose hope in the, don't lose hope in the mercy of Allah. When you are facing difficulties, Allah is always there. Always remember Allah is there. When you're doing a hard, hard exam and you're sweating, you're like this. Oh, this question. Why? I can't remember. Always remember Allah is there. Allah is there. You smile like this. Allah is there for me. Allah is there for me. Yes. When at home you're going through so many troubles, you're going, you're sick and you're tired, and you're in trouble, and your heart is broken, who is there? Allah. Who is there for you? Allah. Allah. He is always there. Allah. He is always there. Yes. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewarded Prophet Ayyub for his patience by giving him back everything that he lost and he gained back his position in the society because people were talking bad about him they said this man now allah does not love him anymore this man now he did bad stuff that's why allah has tested him but this was not the case so prophet ayub here was a patient man he said i'm going to have sabr i'm going to have patience so that allah will reward me and allah rewarded him, isn't it? Yes. Now, are you ready for the questions? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you ready for the questions? Yes. Yeah. Let's see who is going to, to ask the questions. Huh? Sheikh Red is going to ask you the question. <laughs> Sheikh Red, you ask them hard questions, okay? He's going to ask you hard questions. Yeah. He knows. Huh? Sheikh Red, you know how to talk. You had? Oh. Now, the first question. Shakhre, do we start with the boys or the girls? The boys. The girls. The girls. Oh, okay. He said we start with the boys. Boys, are you ready? Yes. Now, tell me. Which 
doha did prophet ayub make to allah when he was sick he is sad he is stressed he has lost everything that he had which dua did he make sheikh red ren ren cut for them how many seconds should we give them Five seconds no Five seconds. You only have five seconds, boys. Five. Boys, boys, boys. Five seconds, boys. Two. One. Mm. Boys, what is the dua that Prophet Ayub made? Should I give you a hint? No, I only know to Rabbi Inni. Rabbi Inni, very good. Another person, another boy. Rabbi Inni, Masaniya. Masaniya Masaniya Aha Masaniya Dhurr wa anta Do you very close Wa anta Ar Arhamu Arrahimi Ah mashallah say mashallah to the boys La mashallah jamilun jiddan Ya salam, ya salam, hello. Oh, very good, Abdullahi. Mashallah, very good. Now, the next question is for the girls. Is for the girls. girls. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let me hear the question from Sheikh Red first. Yes. Let him talk. Oh, okay. okay, listen. He said, The girls, I ask you this question. Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam, how did Allah bless him, girls? How did Allah bless him? What are some of the things that Allah blessed Prophet Ayyub with? Yes? A cake. A cake? No, no, no. A big house. A big house? Yes? Uh, you are close. What did Allah give Prophet Ayyub? What was he given? Yeah, only five seconds. What was he given? Yes? Wait, the answering, the answering, yes? What was he given? Oh, girls, girls, can you wake up? Girls, what? Girls, wake up, you girls, wake up. Yes? What was he given? He was given wealth. He was? Wealthy, and he health. was wealthy. He had what? And health. And health and and lots of children, right? And a big, beautiful family. And Allah tested him. And Allah tested, tested him. Tested. Now I want you to tell me, why did Allah answer Prophet Ayub's dua? Why did Allah answer Prophet Ayub's dua? Yes. He was patient. Very good. What else? Why else did Allah answer Prophet Ayub's dua? Yes, Adam. He was? He was waiting. That means he was patient, right? He was waiting for Allah to give him a relief. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. When, because Allah loves us so, so much, when we ask something from him, he's going to give us, right? Yes, because Allah has made us a promise. Allah has promised us when you ask something from him, he's going to, to answer you. Yes, Rauda? Allah loves you. Does Allah love you? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. How many people love Allah? How many people love Love their mommy. How many people love the teacher? How many people love Sheikh Red? How many people love Shaitan? Oh. Oh. How many people want to go to Jannah? How many people want to go to Jannah to Firdaus? How many people want to go to Jahannam? You want to go to Jahannam? You, Sheikh Red. Ah, Sheikh Red wants to go to Jahannam. You, you are not going to Jahannam. 
How many people? So, Prophet Ayub salam, was a patient man. He was a patient man. So, are we going to be patient like Prophet Ayub? Yes. Yes. When you are sick, you be patient. When you don't get everything in maths, you be patient. And you study hard. And you study hard. hard. Don't just be patient and you are not working hard. Hmm. You have to work hard and be patient and be because Allah rewards those people who are patient and He loves them. Inna Allah yuhibbu Jannah. Jannah. Inna Allah yuhibbu Inna Allah yuhibbu Allah lo loves those people who are patient. Allah loves those people who are patient. patient like who? Prophet Ayub alayhi salam. Mashallah. So did you enjoy the story? Yes. Clap for Sheikh Red. Oh. Sheikh Red is shy. Clap for Sheikh Red. Bravo. Clap for, clap for yourself. Clap for Horizon TV. Clap for Najma. Clap for Ustada. Clap for Alamin. Clap for Shaitan. <laughs> You're clapping for Shaitan? No. Uh -uh. So we'll see you guys, inshallah, next. Next week. Next week. Same time. Same place. Like. Don't forget to. What do you say on YouTube? Don't forget to. Subscribe. Ring the bell. And like. And share. And. And comment. And. Or you don't want comments. You don't want comments. We want comments. Yeah, we want tell them. We want comments. We want, right? we want comments. Okay, tell the kids my salam. From Nairobi. From Nairobi. To Mombasa. To Mombasa. To Kisumu. To Isiolo. To Garissa. To Mandera. To to London, to UK, UK, say UK, to America, to America, to Somalia, hi, to Somalia, to Kenya, Masalam, to Dubai, Masalam, tell them Masalam, see you next week, Inshallah. Keep it horizon. Keep it horizon. From Alamin Academy. From Alamin Academy. In Kitty Suru. Till you. Adios. Kaherini. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh, we forgot to say, oh, we forgot to say we love you all. Oh, but they know we love them, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you, guys. Abu Najma with kids. We learn Quran. We learn Quran. We learn Quran. We learn Quran. We learn Hadith. We learn Hadith. We learn Hadith. We landed to us, we landed to us, we landed to us, we landed to us, we love a prophet, we love a prophet, we love a prophet, we love a prophet.